If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. In last video, we have seen how we can extract the title information from the web page. So here we are using the left boundary as title and the right boundary as closed title tag. And we wrote the regex with the capturing group dot plus question mark. So this extracts this particular title. But if the title has spread out across multiple lines like this, then this will not work because our regex will work only for the title in the same line. So how we can write the regex to match across multiple lines. So in this regex 101, there are a couple of ways you can do. The very simple way is to change this flag to the single line. So whenever you select this single line slash yes, then it will match across all the lines. But you cannot use this syntax in any of the performance testing tool. So we cannot rely on this mechanism. So instead we have to write the regex explicitly. So to match the new line, we are going to create another capturing group and inside the capturing group, we are going to use this quantifier question mark. Yes. So this will match multiple lines and also the content inside the title tag. So this is how you write the regex to extract if the content spread it across multiple lines. Okay. Now we are going to see the next step in regex. Before that, let me explain the use case. So here we are going to find out the number of products prices in the page. So in this demoster.gatling.io, it will list out all the products and its prices. So our objective is to retrieve all the prices in the web page. So here the price is enclosed within the paragraph tags. So the left boundary in this case would be paragraph tag and the right boundary is closed paragraph tag. And we are going to write the regex to extract the product prices. So how we can write regex for this? If you visit demostore.gatling.io and if you click on this all products link, you can see it is listing out all the six products in this particular page and it is spread across four pages. So our objective is to count how many products are there and its prices. First, let us see the price information, how we can write the regex for this. Just right click and click on developer tools and click on inspect, which will give you the inspect element uh, details. As you see, it is enclosed in the paragraph tag. And I'm going to close this and I'm going to hit on uh, control U so that it will open the response of this particular page. And I'm going to uh, copy this and paste it in the regex 101. So here we are going to write the regex to capture the prices information. So here you can see the price of this particular product is uh, 1799. Now let us begin writing the regex. So let us start with the left boundary uh, p tag and we are going to enter the right boundary closed p tag and I am going to write the escape sequence so that it will work fine. Next I am going to write the capturing group because we are going to capture the price information. So we have to start with the capturing group and inside the capturing group first objective is to capture this dollar symbol. For this I am going to use the character set. So whenever you want to match certain character, you can write in the square brackets. So this is called character set and I'm going to type dollar symbol. So here dollar symbol means it's a regex syntax. So we have to use the escape sequence character for the dollar so that it will consider as a dedicated character. Next, we are going to start writing the numbers so that it can match. For the numbers also, I am going to use the character set. So here I'm going to use some range. So any number between zero to nine. And since we don't know the price of each item, it could be multiple digits, right? So we have to use the plus character. So one or more occurrences. And next is we are going to use the separator using the uh, slash dot so that it will identify the decimal point. And similarly, we are going to repeat the steps again to match the other digits. So within the character set, I'm going to write 0 to 9 
and to match multiple digits we are going to use plus so once you start typing this syntax you can see it has identified the prices and in the right side you can see the matches match one two three four five six so there are totally six matches identified and six groups so these are the prices of your products the same approach you can use to retrieve the product name so if you see the product name in the source code so if you just type uh, the product uh, name like a casual black blue so it is enclosed in the h4 tag so now let me delete this and type the left boundary of h4 tag and our typical regex and close parenthesis sorry close uh, h4 and escape sequence for this and as you see it is identified all the matches so whatever the title enclosed in the h4 tag it is listing again number of matches is six so this is how you use the character set to identify the digits or some characters or anything if you want to match you can use the character set so assume that instead of a dollar it could be euro it could be yen so you can keep adding those in the character set for example you can match dollar or uh, say rupees something like this it's not the exact character for rupees but uh, i cannot type in my keyboard but uh, assume that this is for yen so now it will match dollar or yen so this pipe symbol acts as a or character that's it from my side if you have any questions please let me know in the comments Thanks for watching. Have a good day. If you would like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.